These are the first two invitations calling forth the tablet of spirit in the system of Dr. D. in the Redwood Kelly. C. Equinox, Volume 1, Number 7, and Number 8.
understand your voices of wonder? O ye of the second of the first, in the burning flames I have framed in the depths of my jaws, whom I have prepared as cup for a wedding, for the flowers in their beauty, for the chamber of righteousness. Stronger are your feet of the barren stone, and the mightier are your voices in the manifold wind. For you are become a building such as is not, save in the mind of the all-powerful. Your hair is full of roses from the deep fall that we dug. The sorcerer is enchanting from the paladin in France. In the starlight as we wove us in a web of silk and steel, in memorial of the marble, in the halls of Boabdil, in the presence of the roses, the fountains, and the hues, where the snowy Sierra soothed us with the breezes and the dews. In the starlight as we trembled from a last to a caress, and the God came warm upon us in our pagan allegress. Was the valid la bona too seductive? Did you feel through the silence and the softness all the tension of the steel? Your hair was full of roses, and my flesh was full of thorns, and the midnight came upon us worth a million crazy morns. Ah, oh, my gypsy, my gitana, my Celia, where you fade for the dance to turn to earning, oh, a sunny land in Spain. My Gitana, my Celia, more delicious than a dove, with your hair flame with roses and your lips a light with love. Shall I see, shall I kiss you once again? I wander far from the sunny land of summer to the icy polar star. I shall find you, I shall have you. I am coming back again from the filth and fog to seek you in the sunny land of Spain. I shall find you, my Gitana, my Celia, as of old with your hair aflame with the roses and your body gay with gold. I shall find you, I shall have you in the summer on the south, with our passion in your body and our love in your mouth. With our wonder and our worship be the world of flame of you. My Gitana, my Celia, I am coming back to you. The pentagram dedicated to Henry Foreman in the years of the primal force, in the dawn of terrestrial birth, man mastered the mammoth and horse, and man was the lord of the earth. He made him in hollow skin from the heart of an holy tree. He compassed the earth therein, and man was the lord of the sea. He controlled the vigorous steam. He harnessed the lightning for hire. He drove the celestial team, and man was the lord of the fire. Deep mouth from their throne, deep seated. The choirs of the eons declare the last of the demons defeated. For man is the lord of the air. Arise, O man, in thy strength. The kingdom is thine to inherit. Till the high gods witness at length that man is the lord of his spirit. One song for a woman. World for a hall, sky for a harlot, all life at your door for a woman of solace. The bitter exchange, the bad bargain of strife, it may seem to you strange. The fact is, I like it. What an echo, trace, power, and sail to have a hold an exhaustible pressure. I am giving them more in this planet of sport that must be preserved. The horn is proud of the horn. 
dedicated lady tenant for Mr. Malcolm and the Mr. Perry. Bury me in a nameless grave. I came from God, the world to save. I brought them wisdom from above, worship and liberty and love. They slew me, for I did disparage therefore religion, law and marriage. So be my grave without a name, that earth may swallow up my shame. Three hymns for man. At sea, as night hath stars more rare than ships in ocean, faint from pole to pole, so all the wonder of her lips hints her innavigable soul. Such light she gives as guide my bark. But I am a swallowed in the swell of her heart's ocean, sagely dark, that holds my heaven and holds my hell. In her I live and moot my new dancing moment in the sun. In her I die, a sterile shoot of night trade in oblivion. In her myself dissolve, a grain of salt cast careless in the sea. My passion purifies my pain to peace past personality. Love of my life, God grant the years confirm the chrism, rose to rude, anointing love, a scourging tear in the sanctifying solitude. Man is so infinitely small in all these stars, determinate. Maker and the molder of them all, man is so infinitely great. My fingernails grow on my fingers, and my fingers are fixed firmly to my hand. It is my hand that terminates my arm, and that sticks to my shoulder like a chalk. My shoulder is a portion of my trunk. I hope no prostitute, however drunk, would end the shocking secret. Yet we find, even in England, men of evil mind, pornographers who love obscene details, shameless enough to mention fingernails. The Titanic. All flash, the serpent, the of steel, and the summer soft of man's delight. Down the crash of an immobile and brainless barrier of life. Hurry. The grey god is the laughing lip. Let not faith founder with the ship. We reel before the blows of fate. Our stout souls stagger at the shock. Oh, there is something ultimate, big fast of the living rock. Courage, catastrophe beyond belief, harden our hearts to fear and grief. The gods upon the titans shower their high intolerable storms, but no god knows in what hour a new Prometheus may be born. Courage! Man of his doom goes driving down. A crown of thorns is still a crown. No power of nature shall withstand at last the spirit of mankind. It is not built upon the sand. It is not watchful to the wise. Courage! Disaster and destruction tend. It's all a triumph in the end. The hymn to the American people of the anniversary of their independence. 